Minecraft Hardcore Mode. It's by far one of the most popular ways to experience the game, and also one of the most popular ways to watch people experience the game. The concept behind Hardcore Mode is pretty straightforward too. You die, you lose the world forever. With a relatively simple concept like that, and with it being so popular, you would definitely think that one of the most popular ways to experience the game would of course be on the biggest version of the game, right? Well, no. Easily, one of humanity's biggest questions of all time is why does Hardcore Mode not exist on Bedrock Edition? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the answer for you today, and I don't know if we'll ever have the answer to that question, but what I do have is Hardcore on Bedrock. I was taking a look at the marketplace because I figured why not, I mean I practically never take a look, maybe something's cool. Then I found this, Hardcore Mode by Sandbox. Today we're heading into the great unknown, truly to figure out if this is actually worth it. $5 for a brand new game mode in the game. Is it worth it? Well, I hope it's worth it. You could help make it worth it a little bit by leaving a like on this video, would appreciate it, and maybe even subscribing too. Right now, we're currently on that road to more subscribers, and I need your help. And so, years of waiting, so far walking, just walking and walking and walking, was it all worth it? Well, here we are, finally. Minecraft Bedrock Hardcore Mode. So right off the bat, a brand new world, uh, no smells at all. It's like literally n nothing's here. It's a gigantic void. So I'm thinking either one of three things are happening right now. You're experiencing my soul. I'm experiencing your soul. Or this is like literally just a menu. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a menu. I can't walk around at all. And the inventory, it looks like I have some things. I'm assuming these are just moving through the menu though. And then we have buttons. So we have presets, customization, presets, customization, uh, presets. Java Hardcore, sounds familiar, nightmare, no clue, literally impossible. All right, well, we'll, we'll see about that. I, I assume to go back, yep, we just use that. Look at this, and then customization. So one of the things that drew me to this pack was customization. According to this pack in the store, there were over 30 ways to customize your hardcore experience. So, uh, looks like I have nine. Uh, that's not quite 30, but I mean, it, it's a start. Uh, looks like these customizations are gonna change things. So, for example, cave spider's poison is deadly. I would assume, if I am to believe this button, if I select that, cave spider's poison is gonna be deadly. That seems to make sense. So we have easy right here. These things don't exactly seem easy, but there's easy. Then we move over to normal. Okay, so we have a little bit more customization. Some of these things are really cool. Oh, uh, that's absolutely terrifying. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. There's even more. Oh, there's one more. Okay, well, that's 10. And then let's see. We have three, uh, three more, one more. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. 9 plus 10 plus 7, 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 26. That's 26 customization options. I mean, I don't want to be that person, but 26. That's not exactly 30. Never mind 30 or more. Okay, so before we do anything like that, let's go ahead and full reset and just check out a preset here. Uh, a couple different difficulties here. Let's go ahead with what we know, Java Hardcore, and... What is this? Mm, behind walls and towers, see generation. Uh, Pirates Bay, I assume this is like a, like a random world and then we have like maps, like preset maps right here. Which one do we wanna go with? The easy, medium, hard, difficult. Of course, right here. Oh, what is this? Okay, we have the void still. Can I just like, maybe not go to the door? What if I'm, what if I'm afraid of that? No, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We have to walk towards the door, we go into the light, move into the light, we're nauseous now. We have like strength, a mirror, and I'm flying. Uh, I can't move, okay, sorry about that. I'm flying, I'm, I'm literally flying here. Is this my house? Yes, yes, this is my house, I built this. I set this up for the video, mm-hmm. By hand, myself, this is my house. Look at this thing, it's deep, I love a cave base, and what are those? Uh, hold on a minute. What did I buy? What did I buy? What is this right here? This is not hardcore mode. Are they nice? We're gonna put this armor on. Are you nice? Are we friends? Me and you? Uh, you have a cool back. Are we friends? Uh, do you care about this? Do you care? Oh, yep. You care about that. Alright, alright. Sorry about it, buddy. Sorry. I uh, will just go over here to the corner and I think it's chasing me. I'm pretty sure it's chasing me. It's definitely... Nope. They're fighting each other. Geniuses. Okay. Alright, well... They got me. They got me. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on a minute. I just realized something. I respawned. 
How did I respawn in hardcore Minecraft? This is not hardcore at all. This is like an amethyst golem or something. I'm thinking iron ingots. Yep, definitely iron golem, coal, and then amethyst. I mean, that's not exactly normal, but I guess it's cool. And we also respawn in hardcore mode. I'm starting to wonder if the creators of this pack maybe ever played hardcore on Java. I mean, it's a Bedrock Edition pack. I guess there is technically. I guess technically the chance that they've never played hardcore on Java, but respawning. Mm, that instantly means this is not hardcore. <laughs> not, not at all. And then that thing, whatever that is. And actually, this guy right here, who are you? A short king, maybe? Mm, no, you're a general dwarf. Uh, basically a villager. Yeah, this isn't hardcore at all. I'm sorry about that. All right, and the one thing that does make it hardcore is we have a zombie literally repeatedly falling from the ceiling and then some kind of cool preset mine area, which is really interesting. Uh, but for a normal survival experience, 100% this isn't it. I'm sure this uh, this mine is really cool. I mean, diamonds right off the a lot of diamonds right off the bat. And custom mobs, I'm, I'm sure it's definitely really cool. The stuff feels really high quality here. But this wasn't what I was looking for. Like, maybe I missed something in the marketplace, but it's not exactly hardcore. All right, so back to the menu. So far, that's definitely not hardcore at all. Uh, presets of Java hardcore. Let's go ahead and try seed generation. I'm hoping and, and dreaming that this is just going to be a literally like a random seed that I could play hardcore mode in on Bedrock Edition. Okay, this is a lot more promising if that's what I'm looking for. Uh, assuming that's to go back to the menu, so that's that's a thing. That's nice. Uh, I mean, yeah, this like literally looks like a random world. That's cool. I do want to test something out, though, that I learned. And also, where did I get all of this stuff from? So in that last world, whatever that place was, I learned that I can respawn in hardcore mode. That definitely is in hardcore. Let's try it again. How about this time in hardcore? This is Java hardcore, so theoretically I shouldn't be able to respawn. Let's just go ahead and take a little bit of damage here and figure out if we can come back and get our valuable, luxurious leather armor that we have here and, and all this other stuff. All right, that happened, and respawn. Hmm. Okay, so that doesn't work, but let's take a look at this. Customization. Are my customizations staying? No, they're not. Uh, well, actually, you know what? That's because I reset them. Now, of course, they're not going to stay. So let's take a look at this. Could we maybe cust uh, customize that experience? So right there, no respawn. That's what we're looking for. Deep dark. That's cool. Help. No regen. Okay, ultra hardcore. Uh, night lasts forever. Yep, let's just go ahead and turn all of these things on and then go back to a new world and see if these actually apply. All of these settings right here. That's right, I'm experienced. So we go ahead and go back. Are they still there? Uh, yeah, they're still there. Okay, okay. Presets, Java Hardcore, Random World. Two questions here. Did all of those settings save? And is this going to be a completely random world, or is it going to be the same one every time? All right, it's the middle of the day. That's not a good sign. That's a terrible sign, but this is different. Like, this is really, really different looking. That's great. How about no regen? Will I regen? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look... Oh, no. Okay. I regen. That's fine. Where's the iron golem in this village? And also, why do I have hunger right off the bat? I assume that's going to go away eventually. Can't last forever. But iron golem, hey, how do you feel about that? Oh, uh, you don't like that, yeah? Can we respawn? This isn't hardcore at all. Time warp. A little time has passed, and I think I've figured it out. So, I was doing things completely wrong. Uh, those presets right there are literally presets. So, if I want to experience whatever this setting is right here, uh, literally impossible, then I could pick a world right there and experience it that exact way. Maybe, though, I want to customize my experience a little bit more. Then I could go over to customization here, uh, pick different things, which I have all of these things selected right now for a good experience. I can look through all of those things right there. Then what I want to do is actually say next. I say next, I get the same option right here. Now we pick this. This is going to be a random world. We walk into the magical portal. This is the entrance to the world. Give it a second. I have all of those effects again. And here we are. Um... I mean, no big deal. It's only $5. It's a small bug. We'll just adjust these customizations one more time. Hit next. Uh, go right there to that world. Uh, walk into the portal again dramatically. We go, we go. We get the effects right now. That's happening. And then it works. It works. We're back inside of this world. No big deal. Check this out right here. We're not going to regen. And I've broken my legs, which means I have slowness for a second. Uh, but look at this. It works. I'm not regening. 
I, I figured it out. I've cracked the code. This is a cave right here. These are like starter tools. I guess if you didn't want these things, they're too cheaty. You just drop them on the ground. No big deal. Walk away. They'll despawn eventually. This works. This works with the customizations on. Cool, you have to be careful not to step into that thing. I can't figure out how to actually cancel it. Uh, it says step off of the thing, but check this out. I step off right here. I'm running away. Uh, I'm still nauseous, and, and then I was getting teleported still, so just don't step on the bedrock, but it works. It actually works. Now, the small problem here, every single time you go back to the menu, uh, then basically everything is reset. That world that you were just grinding out for 100 days in survival, you stepped on that bedrock, well, that's completely gone. So that's a small problem, to say the least, but the customizations here, the customizations to change the experience are actually, like, really, really cool. So, uh, these are kind of, like, default experiences right there. No respawning, no regen, but there are some really, really interesting ones in here. Night lasts forever. You'll see the sun on your first- okay, so that- that's it, that's it. It really helps if you finish reading the sentences. After the first day, it's always nighttime. That is insane sounding. That is really, really cool. Piglins and zombified piglins are just always aggressive, so the nether is just essentially a nightmare. And I love how these customizations are, like, optional here. Let's say we wanted to have a really difficult world, but, like, I wanted to respawn. Like, I wanted to keep the world. Well, then, theoretically, I could just turn every single other setting on other than the, the one life thing. And then we could just continually respawn and exist in this world that is insanely, insanely difficult, dangerous, and just, you know, completely different, a little bit more difficult than normal survival. I've also cracked the code on this menu system here. It seems like easy. Um, these toggles are like a little bit less dangerous than these normal toggles and then these ones. These are like clearly the most difficult ones. No regen, no respawning. I mean, you literally can't beat no respawning. That's the most difficult thing ever. Now when it comes to world generation inside of these worlds, I can't tell here. I, unfortunately, to me, this looks a whole lot like pre 1.18 generation. This looks like the old world generation. Not 100% sure on that. I'm gonna try and look around and see if I can find a cave or something, but that's a huge letdown. Like, jumping into a world here, finally playing hardcore on Bedrock after all these years, and then, yeah, you don't even have, like, the cool mountains or the gigantic caves or anything like that, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's test it. Let's find a cave. Also, I'm really not sure why I begin this world with these effects, and I have no clue how to actually check the effects on Bedrock Edition. I don't know what button it is. Emotes? I, I don't know. How do I look at the effects? No clue. It's not in here. I'm struggling, clearly. Maybe Hardcore Bedrock is just not, not exactly for me. I, I don't know what button to hit to, to look. How do I look at the effects? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You know what, I'm full of good ideas today. Uh, instead of just hitting all of the buttons on the keyboard, I look inside of this thing right here, and then eventually I'll find something uh, about effects. Mob effects, right there, Z. Z is the key. Okay, hunger. Oh, I literally have hunger forever. Um, okay. Well, I don't know if I chose that option. Maybe it was one of the options I chose. To be fair, I didn't really read them all. Uh, hunger forever. Okay, well, I guess good thing I started with this bread. Now, inside of the world, all of these blocks are literally normal blocks, like, you can mine everything, that works exactly as intended, you can just dig these things, everything is, like, literally normal, other than all of the customizations that I made, and if maybe one of the customizations changed something, but yeah, like, so far, all of these things, they're all trees, I can mine the trees, the ground, it's all ground, I can mine the ground, and even these lily pads, indeed a lily pad. This whole constant hunger thing is really painful, though, like, that's burning me through my food, and hey, a cave. If I'm looking for hardcore on Bedrock, then I'm looking for an experience that is pretty similar to hardcore on Java. You know, like normal survival, that's a charged creeper, okay, that's a little different. Creeper just being charged thing, I chose that option. They're all meant to be charged. All right, and there's another one. This is not gonna go well. Uh, that did like no damage. Okay, all right. Another test, the world that I was just in, this is the seed for that world. And then a different world I made, the seed for that world, uh oh, is that number. Uh oh. Okay, so I turn show coordinates on in this world, 1750, negative 909, that's where I spawned inside of this one, with a, with a portal right there, that's spawned. And then inside of this world, uh, which is a completely different one, this is where I'm at, uh, 1306, negative 360. Let's go ahead and go over to that same spot and see what's going on. So I changed the settings. I should be able to go into creative now. Yep, I can. 1800, 74, negative 500, and what we're gonna call world number two. This is what it looks like. We're in a plains biome. There's cows around us. There's a mountain right behind us, forest over there. 1800, negative 500 in world number two, and yep, here we are. This is definitely 100% the same world. 
All right, well, that's a gigantic letdown, but I guess then again, the world is infinite, so if you wanted a different experience, I guess you could just, like, run really, really far. Whoa, look what I found. I, I guess you could run, like, really, really far away, and then maybe have, like, a different experience. Test number two, what kind of generation do we have here? Are we in 1.18 generation? Oh. Oh, no. We're falling. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're in one point. Oh, wait. No. We're not falling. It's 1.17 generation. I got that whole blindness effect, though, when I went down into the deep caves, which is pretty cool. I have no clue how you would actually survive inside of the deep caves like that, but that's cool. So that does work. Final thoughts on this pack? I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. There's a lot of different customization options. Not sure if there's really more than 30 unless you're going to count those other settings, but there's a lot of customization, and the customization options are cool, assuming they all always work. Uh, they are really nice. It will definitely change your survival experience on one seat. If you're looking for like a normal hardcore mode, I mean, you can definitely kind of create it here, definitely. Uh, however, it's going to be in the same world every single time. Unless you're cool with playing in these pre-built ones, I guess you could just run far away from the pre-built structures, and there you go, then you technically have four seeds, as long as this isn't all built in the same seed, I guess. The one big thing that I absolutely love about this pack, though, are these options. The customization options to make things more difficult, and some of these really interesting ones, too, like that one. That is so different. That's really, really cool. That's pretty sweet, too. I love the customizations. What do you think about the pack? Do you think it's worth it? Or do you think maybe, just maybe, the developers could consider adding hardcore mode to, to Bedrock Edition for free? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. It was really cool of you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more Bedrock Marketplace stuff like this one right here, definitely make sure you leave a like on this one. Subscribe for more videos. On the end card will be even more videos and a playlist too. Check those things out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.